International Culture Fest in St. John is a big street uh, party where people can learn about different cultures, test new foods, uh, interact with uh, people from all around the world and it all happens in, in less than a kilometer. The Culture Fest is organized by the St. John Newcomer Center. It's part of our mission to celebrate and embrace diversity. And right now we have over about 35 ethnocultural groups that are registered in the city of St. John. We're very proud of that. For International Culture Fest here in, I think we're probably one of the biggest uh, ethnocultural fests in the province right now. We're expecting about 10,000 people today. This festival would have, would have not been possible without the sponsorship of so many community partners. There's more than 75 volunteers, more than 30 sponsors, and all three levels of government have come together to help us put this festival together. I think that these sort of events actually demonstrate to newcomers that we're welcoming and that we want them to be here and that we support them. And our government is looking to provide policies and support so that you can come and settle and find work and play and live a fully prosperous life in Canada and in New Brunswick and feel that your culture is respected and appreciated and valued. So RBC is really excited to be a sponsor of the Area 506 Music Festival that's really here uh, with the International Culture Fest here in St. John, New Brunswick. And it's a great way for the uh, music and newcomers and just different cultures coming together for us to have a really great time. We're part of a women's drum group called um, Sisters of the Drum. We're all nine Indigenous women that come together. And today our songs were about welcoming people to our territory. And I think it's also very important that the festival include Indigenous people as the original um, people of this territory. And I think it's important for newcomers to learn about that as well. This year we are gathering with the Arab Culture Association to showcase the Egyptian culture. We showcase here the Egyptian mummy, some of the um, culture pharaohs, and like there's some of the art crafts done by Egyptian ladies. Celtic roots. We're highlighting Celtic and Acadian step dancing, um, and we wanted to perform a culture fest today to showcase the wonderful dance style that comes from the French and also Scottish and Irish heritages that are very strong in New Brunswick, but also here in St. John. We are here to showcase our culture, Cameroon culture, to everybody in St. John. And we are also telling people about how amazing Cameroon is. It's easily cheaper to maybe visit Cameroon as a tourist. It's really nice and tranquil. So that's what we are here for. Just make a happy day for everybody in St. John. So I sell Brazilian style croquettes, so a dough pretty much made by, with uh, potatoes, flour and spices and in the middle you can put whatever flavor you want so chicken or pulled pork or cheese or even vegan try to make everyone happy. I'm serving uh, a Filipino cuisine. Uh, we're having the grilled pork sisig which is actually famous and our best seller in the Philippines. In the Canadian Society of St. John we try to gather all kinds of cultural together from South, North, East, West India and bring them all together so people are thrilled to come to our booth Part of the reason is that they're saying that, oh, now we're not spending any penny to go all the way to India. We can see India right here. This weekend we're at Culture Fest really to promote our programmings that Black Lives Matter New Brunswick offers. So whether it's our youth program, uh, our Skills for Success program, our advocacy work that we do for folks, we're really just here to share that information with folks so that they, they know it's available to them for our black community members. The St. John Fire Department, in conjunction with the International Culture Fest, decided that it would be a great opportunity to have an opportunity to come and, and speak to families about fire safety. What we expect here in St. John, so that if someone is new to our city, they know how we would operate, what we're looking for. And it's again an opportunity for everyone, for families, including children, to learn and to show them how to embrace the diversity and different cultures. Yeah, we really enjoyed this festival. It was great, like great. It was good. This place is the best. I wish I can come here every day. Wow. Awesome.